Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura in the booth. Thanks. In the booth with me is Rick Shivani. Hello. Hello, Jim. Great to be back after a week away on Claw. I hear some amazing things have been going down in the JFW. I can't wait to catch up tonight. Woo! Woo yeah, it's been amazing. There's been uh, Stan Firm's been making waves with having new tag team new tag team champs have been crowned in the in Stan Firm on on fr last Friday. They they had their own division, like their own tag team division with champs. It's it's wild. It's all it's all kicking off. Um, it's cr crazy developments with that Gorilla Mezzo uh, and his new regime with Stan Firm and uh, yeah there's some good matches but first of all we've got the two of the biggest superstars in the JFW Noalius versus Rick Reckless well yes but they're uh, they're struggling a little bit at the moment Pepper Biscuit defeating them both a couple of weeks ago in a triple threat and uh, Noalius obviously lost his Wem Dope Rip Rick lost his EAB title so these two both with a point to prove on their way back up yeah Wait a minute. That's that's Fan Fox's music. What the hell is he doing? What on earth could this be, Jim? In JFW Universe, it's I, Fan Fox. You may best know me as one half of the Two Heads champions dressed for business. But did you ever ask yourselves exactly what that business that I dress for is? Well, let me illuminate you. You see, when I'm not winning matches with Lemon, I am a corporate lawyer. And one of my top clients is none other than Mr. Jim McMahon. And at close of business last week, I filed an injunction on behalf of Mr. McMahon. For I was watching Stan Firm and what I saw was unacceptable. And my arguments, in, in my arguments, illegal. You can't just create a new tag team championship just because your shitty show is unable to front proper champions to compete with the real tag team champions. So I petitioned the investors and they agreed there will not be a SmackDown exclusive two heads championship. So the only belt stretching across the weights of the winner three fives on Friday will be the drawstrings of food stained sweatpants. And furthermore, the two heads championships will become exclusive titles of Monday Night Claw. Say goodbye to your tag team division's revival, Gorilla. See ya. Wow, unbelievable. Goodness me, just as uh, Stan Firm was starting to get a foothold back in the JFW, the rug is pulled from underneath it. Goodness me, Jim, that's devastating news for Gorilla Mezzo. <laughs> yeah, that's, that must have, that, wow, that must shen, shen, shen shockwave through Stan Firm. <laughs> Sorry, I turned into Chunter for a moment there. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Well, now we, 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 we've got Noalias versus Rick. And we're just going to have to move on with this. But yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable development there, right? The tag team will be absolutely, exclusive to Claw. Absolutely Quo. huge. Yeah. You, you finally thought it was getting its own identity. It was uh, pulling away a little bit from Monday Night Claw. But now it's absolutely confirmed. Locked in as the B show. Really no, nothing, almost nothing worth tuning in for you you could say um, no i think you know, it's still definitely worth for. tuning in for <laughs> i think it's still definitely worth tuning in for <laughs> no i don't i don't know jim I don't, I don't know if you've watched monday night claw it's uh it's 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 hard to see anything else <laughs> hopefully hopefully they'll find a reason <laughs> to make it worth tuning in for jim <laughs> yeah oh dear oh boy well, thankfully, we're still getting this match because this is absolutely fascinating. 
two of the best to do it in the ring between the ropes. Noalias versus Rick Reckless. But like I said before, both recently losing their titles after some epic title reigns and also not getting the win in that triple threat with Peppered Biscuit. So uh, desperately need a win, both of these men, but only one can. Yep. <laughs> yes, Mordred, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure Rick has just taken Claw on his mind at all, so that's all good. <laughs> I'm certain of it, hundred percent. I can say with a hundred percent certainty, Rick is taking Claw on that mind at all. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'd have to ask it. We, we'll ask him after the match, Jim. He's a bit busy right now. Yeah, he is. He is, he is going to be busy, but uh, I'm sure he's going to back claw. <laughs> it, it'd be nice from a, you know, kind of arm-in-arm uh, -arm loyalty to Monday Night Claw aspect, wouldn't it? Hmm. And of course, One Crusher... Thing certainly not going to take, and that's Stan Fun. Good. Crusher main eventing, you know, the star of Claw is a Minotaur, so there you go. <laughs> Hello, Hancock. Baby. The fans still love him no matter what he does, no matter what he gets up to, no matter what the results are. They love a bit of Rick. Here he is. <laughs> Not been his way since WrestleMania. Can he turn that around now? He was the one to get pinned against Pepper Biscuit. And uh, I can't think of many tougher than Noalias to be up against tonight, Jim. Yep. <laughs> Big skull. <laughs> Big skull on his hat. Love to see it. Uh, this, this, the Rick in the commentary box is Rick Schiavone, Flux Streamer. They're two totally different people. They look nothing alike. <laughs> Well, they look pretty alike, but you know. <laughs> like Batman and Bruce Wayne, right? They look nothing alike. No one would ever think they were the same person. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. You, you might mistake us for cousins on a, on a sunny day with the sun in your eyes a little bit. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, and while he's oh up to a good God. start here, there goes Rick. Up and over. Rolls away, though, from the stump. Look at the power of Nawalius, though, Jim. Brutal stuff. Rick just looks confused. <laughs> he really does. Took, uh, took the ref a while there. And they lock up again. Our oh, side headlock this time from Noalias. Got Rick in trouble. Oh, boy. Very technical. Oh. Reminds me of the, uh, the original wrestling world champion, Frank Gotch. There you go. Oof. Oh my word, up and over again. An absolute clinic so far from Nuali is teaching Rick a lesson. And Rick's bad luck of form, a bad run of form even, seemingly going to continue. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. We're on for a classic Nuali squash match at this rate, Jim. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a bit like Suplex City, isn't it? <laughs> you gotta say. All right, Rick pops oh. up. Here we go. Inverted atomic drop. Oh, God. Well, that's an equalizer for sure. It certainly is. Clubbing blows to the back of Noalias. Whips him into the ropes. Ducks underneath. And a nice hip toss from Rick. Okay, we have ourselves a match. No, baby. Whips Noalias into the turnbuckle. Oh, Noalias with the back elbow. Rick catches the kick. Sweeps the leg. Oh, half crab. Half oh. crab from Rick. <laughs> the he devastating half crab. Somehow, and while this fights up, nice, uh, nice roll away from Rick, trying to stay out of trouble whilst he recovers. Oh, what a right hand! Huge right and sent onto the concrete. How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? Twenty-three tonight, Rick. All right, so we're looking at about average. Uh, you wouldn't want to take a pile driver onto it, but you might survive the odd suplex. 
Yeah. Rick fed into the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is looking pretty bad for Rick, Jim. It is. This has been incredibly one-sided, apart from brief, brief offensive spells from Rick. It's been very one-sided. It has, it has. Here he is desperately fighting back now. He's going to have to do a lot more than this, but it's a start. Double axe handle smash takes down Noelius, cranks the neck. I don't know what count we're up to, Jim, but he's got to be getting up there. Yeah. Well, they're back All in. Right. Rick brings it back inside, just in time. Wondered if he thought about going to the top there. Instead, tries to pick Noelius up, but here comes <laughs> Noelius, just bulldozes him down. Doesn't even do a move per se. Just literally runs into him and lets him go flying. Oh, no. And here's the ground and pound. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, oh Jim. Devastating elbows. Lucky not to be busted open there, Rick. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty roll. glad. Whoa, nice leverage move from Rick there. Using Noalias' size against him. Snap suplex from Noalias, though, and this could be it. Oof. Still just a one count, but uh, wouldn't want to see an F5 gift subs right now. <laughs> not not convinced Rick would find a way out of that. Mm. Fed into the turnbuckle. And again, over and over. Rick, uh, Noali is giving Rick a new nose job. Oh, man. <laughs> Brutal stuff. Oh, camel clutch. Could we see Rick tap? Very much Certainly been put through enough. <laughs> I, could, I don't know that we've ever seen Rick tap. <laughs> but maybe. I mean, even Tony plays pool, he gives up sometimes, right? <laughs> that, that is true. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. If there's a one in a million shot to, uh, to still win the game, Rick will take it. If he's got to scatter the ball... <laughs> into the crowd on an inaccurate pass and uh, get it down pitch. He'll, he'll try, Jim. He'll try. Oh, no. Oh. Suplex City. Oh, boy. Three amigos. Oh. I, I really don't think Rick can take much more oh of this. And God. it's not like we haven't seen him lose in recent weeks, Jim. Yeah. This is becoming all too familiar. Yeah, this is looking bad. No surprise at all that we're up to a two count now on Rick. And oh. here we go. The F5 gift subs. I think it's over, Jim. Oh my God, it actually could be. I, I don't know what's up with Rick. He, he has fallen off a cliff in terms of <laughs> his success in the JFW and rising back up the no. mountain. No. Oh, my goodness. How, after all that punishment, is he just kicked out of that, Jim? I mean, I don't, I don't know, but he is Rick. He's, he's got form for it. <laughs> but I thought this was going to be. I thought this was. Oh my God! There we go. He's busted him open. Oh, I did no. think this might have been it this time. Oh wow! Marlis is tired. Well, he he's, yeah, he's, he's spent a ton of energy demolishing Rick <laughs> for like ten minutes now. I'm not surprised. Rick <laughs> fighting back, busted open, absolutely destroyed. By about a million suplexes and an F5 gift subs. But here we go. <laughs> Crucifix powerbomb. Oh boy. Blood Bowl Jesus. <laughs> Think about it, the best thing he could do right now is bleed on Noalias to death. <laughs> Surely that can't be it. Surely Noalias isn't so tired. What? I can't wow. believe it was a two count. That's about the third move Rick's done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really think, Jim, it's because he's played rope dope I, I think mm. Noalias has emptied the tank. Maybe. Beautiful neck breaker, perfectly executed. Is he going to go up top of years? I thought he might. This could be it. What? Oh my god, the Rick Roll. The Rick Roll. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh. Oh, oh just a two. Another. It's going up again. <laughs> top rope flip me. It's a long way to go, though. Oh, oh the splash. <laughs> Nails him with a splash. Rick tired as well now. <laughs> Getting the crowd going. Oh, oh he took too long for that pin, Jim. If he wanted to pin, Oof. might have had that. Might have. Rick just thrown it away. No alias with a punch to the ribs. And a powerbomb. 
Oh. Oh no, Rick. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh what? <laughs> oh my god. Triple power bomb. This is horrific. Why is he not pinning him, Jim? I don't know. I think maybe he doesn't want to waste energy, right? He's already nearly killed him. So, yep, yeah, there we go. He's waiting oh, for the yeah. F5 gift That's sub. definitely it this time. A noble effort from Rick after all he'd been through to find a crucifix powerbomb and a top rope flip me and splash. But that is all she wrote now. It's got to be. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> what an opening match. <laughs> oh, my God. Noel is nearly falling over with exhaustion. Must be completely amused and baffled here. <laughs> bamboozled, some might say. Yes, bamboozled. Absolutely. He's going to the top, Jim! Oh my god, we don't see this we from Noel. We never see go to the top. I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Caves in the chest of Rick with his knees. Amazing. What a way to try and get the win, but he doesn't go for the pin. Oh boy. Somehow, Rick fighting on. This has got to be the last roll of the dice for Rick. <laughs> well, if that last roll of the dice is with Rick dice, <laughs> Noalias had better watch <laughs> out. <laughs> Noalias sent crashing to the concrete. Could we even get a count out? Mm, it's a possibility. Anything's possible now. It's, we've already gone past the realms of what I thought was possible. Still haven't seen a, a flip me yet, though, Jim. No, we haven't. Oh, my word. Absolute battering. But here comes Noelia. Slips in behind somehow. But then misses. And Rick ducks out the way. Kick to the gut. The count is getting up there. Noelia throws Rick back in. Mm. And a lovely side suplex. Absolutely spiked him. <laughs> that looked like it might have knocked Rick out. Oh my god. Somehow Rick fighting on. Oh, devastating elbows by Noalias. His ground offense is absolutely devastating. <laughs> Was tearing the head off Rick here. Already busted open. Stomping him viciously, clubbing him to the back. And decided that that will probably do the job, and he's probably right. Oh <laughs> my goodness me. My god. It is classic Rick kickouts. Yep, Shanda. This is. I mean, but normally Rick hangs in and then does something. Now he's just been hanging in, hasn't he? Oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, this is painful to watch, Jim. There's nothing coming back from Rick. It's at this moment that, in a way, you'd like to see the ref just stop it. Yeah. It's one thing if somebody's fighting back. We've not seen anything from Rick in the last five minutes. No, this is this is brutal. Noali is just drinking it in. <laughs> and here we go. F five gift subs definitely done this time. It's gotta be. Yeah. Good night. Wow. Unbelievable statement from Noalias. Not just beating Rick, but beating him in style. Oh my god, yeah, that was that was crazy, wasn't it? That that really was. That was some performance. And it's not like he was the one that was pinned by Pepper Biscuit the other day. I think Noalias has a world title set in mind, and I don't think anything's gonna stop him. <laughs> Rick, give him the respect. I love to see it. And uh, boy, has Diwali has earned it. Amazing that Rick held on as long as he did. And I hope somehow, some way, he finds his smile again, Jim. <laughs> yep. Wow. Boy, howdy. Absolute dominance. That is just, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. I, I never thought I'd see Rick treated like that in a JFW ring. No, no, neither, neither did I. That was actually unbelievable. <laughs>
Anyway, now we've got a triple threat. We've got a uh, we've got Chunter, who's a bit of an animal. We've got Stor, who's a halfling, and Volk for Gore, who's a who's a beast man. Oh baby, I, I've not missed this much, right, Jim? Store the uh, the Wemdope champion? Uh, not Wemdope, the Plimplum Bluesweight champion? Yep. Oh baby, then what what a match we have for us here. Volk for Gore, maybe the greatest Wemdope champion of all time. Obviously not the uh, not the reigning champion, but uh, had the most incredible, most lengthy Wemdope title run that I think we ever saw. Store the reigning Plimplum Bluesweight champion after conquering the tag team division with Flicky Flack and. Uh, Golden Chunterino, who since he uh, since he turned gold and went for uh, singles matches, has been absolutely phenomenal in the JFW. He has. He, he's been amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing, guys. Glorious. On a side note, is uh, is ex partner partner Finney has been uh, streaming a bit of CCL recently for the first time in a very very long time. Yeah, I noticed he was back. Yeah, though. I wonder if the flipping rats will uh, will uh, ever return as a tag you team. You never know. You never know. I, I forget, Jim. Did they uh, did they break up acrimoniously, or uh, what 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 happened there? Well, I think they were they were planned to break up acrimoniously, but then it was that plan was dropped, and Finney was quietly deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously the uh, the Plim Plop Blues Away title not on the line tonight, but he's wearing it with pride. Store the Halfling Master Chef coming to show everyone how it's done and uh, going to prove once more that size doesn't matter. Uh, who he he defeated Goliath Games the other week, right, Jim? He did, yeah, yeah. Absolutely outrageous. Unbelievable, yeah. So, Mr. Jim Smith, man, not feeling the need to put him in it with other Plim Pom losers. He gets Chunter and Volk for goal. Yeah, there was a, there was a plan. become the first ever Grand Slam champion of the JFW, winning all the titles. And in if he does do it, could be in like a ridiculously short space of time. Yeah, he could be. I've got a feeling he won't be, but he could be. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if he keeps on winning, Jim. Yeah, who's yeah. to say? Well. <laughs> Here's Volk. Happy Volk. <laughs> Octagore coming over to the UK on Thursday, I believe, all the way from Andorra. <laughs> Going to be playing in the NAF Championships. One of the uh, the many many Andorran coaches representing. <laughs> That's this coming weekend, isn't it? The NAF champ. It is. Mm. It is, Jim. Can I easily find the rule pack? Can I? Uh, the the Google. rule pack super simple, Jim. It's not tiered. The, you get six normals and uh, and a double, and it's eleven fifty TV. Ah, thank you. Dimmy wanted me to make a video for it, so I, I will do. Oh, lovely. Mm. I'd uh, I'd welcome your input on how to build uh, Chor Minotaur build. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, I can tell I can tell you with a hundred percent certainty, Rick, the best Chor Minotaur build. A hundred percent certainty. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll we'll see, Jim. You know, there's uh, there's a one in. 400 chance that I'll have the last laugh this weekend and a 399 and 400 chance that you'll have the last laugh weekend. So I look forward to, to Claw next week. <laughs> Good day, Cocky. I mean, yeah, obviously you can, you can still win with anything, couldn't you? But uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not optimal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure of that. Oh, what a start from Chunter here. Floor store and now working over the arm of Volkvagor. Oh, elbow to the face, though, of Chunter from Volkvagor. And oh. using the horns. No. Oh. Misses. 
countered by Chunter. Store coming back into it now, but not before Chunter is crushed in the corner by the clothesline of Volkman. Look at that! What a what a recovery! What a kick to the horns! <laughs> Only to eat a devastating uh, back suplex from Store. Gone for the early win. <laughs> Ref took Maybe so long. Early there, Jim. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit early. I, I like a try though. I like someone with a bit of ambition and optimism. Yeah. Side suplex from Volk for Gore. Store onto the outside. So Volk for Gore now going for the victory. Also a little bit optimistic, I feel. Just about scrapes a one count. That isn't going to do it. <laughs> um, he's got a bit of a different spear, actually, Squirrel. So probably not. Probably doesn't have a generic spear. He's got his horns to the head move. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at oh, that from Storr. Storr coming back in, but missing with the drop kick. Lovely chops, though. Eventually, Volk finds the block, but then Storr blocks him back. Chunter just uh, chilling out in the corner, getting some much-needed recovery. Oh, very nice maneuver by Storr. Takes Volk down. Showing once again why he's been so ridiculously, so, uh, ridiculously successful in the JFW in a very short space of time. Yep. <laughs> That and uh, the other wrestlers just can't live with his chat game, Jim. That's the, that's very true. Yep, the the chat game, an incredible part of Stall's success. Oh my God, there's oh! no chatting away that though. <laughs> oh no, and it's triple threat. <laughs> Good no, night. No disqualification. To be fair to the third wrestler, you cannot end it on a disqualification. Yep. And now he's going to fall on the walls of Chuntarino. <laughs> oh, baby. Sends Volk to the outside. And after the low blow, this could actually be it. <laughs> it could. One of the quickest triple threat victories we'd ever seen. No, he lets it go. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Storgo for the counter pin. Volk having to break <laughs> it up. It's oh, all man. happening now. It's going to be amazing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> back by Volk, and he's going for the horns, Jim. Oh boy! Oh, oh. no! But here comes Star. Wipes out the horns. Wipes oh. out the horns. Amazing! What a maneuver! And jump between Star and Chunter. Star gets the better of it with the drop kick. Chunter rolls to the outside, and Volk still hasn't recovered. Oh wow! Oh, counters the whip. Oh, look at this oh. from Star! What the heck? <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's amazing. amazing. How many years have we been doing this? And they still find new ways to entertain us, Jim. It's crazy, isn't it? It is actually nuts. Actually nuts. That was so darn good as well. Yeah. Here come the horns, Jim. This oh, time. Oh, boy. Nobody there to stop it. Oh, oh Chunter stops it. Oh, no, Chunter caught it. <laughs> Chunter accidentally walking in the way of the horns attack. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and that's the finisher from Volk! Oh my oh goodness! My He's won, Jim! Oh my god! No! Oh. Stork kicks out! Stork kicks out! Oh. oh! Oh my god, this could be it! This really could be it! The code breaker! Oh, oh no, what? Oh. Goodness me! Everybody bleeding like a pig now. I've, I've lost track of who got busted open there. Volk yeah. definitely, definitely busted open. Unceremoniously dumped outside by Chunter. And now he turns his attention. Somehow Volk's recovered. <laughs> Breaks Instant up the pin. Oh, but then he's a drop kick. He's still two dazed. Oh my God, this is mad. What a mad match this is. Already. A classic. The horns to Chunter. What a counter from Volk and the horns again. <laughs> Double horns. Sends Chunter to the outside. Storm though. Catches him blindsided. Oh, man. Is he going? Holds on for the pin. He's got it. Jimmy He's over. It. He's won again. Is there anybody in the JFW that Storm can't beat? Oh, my God. Door for Yorkshire. Unbelievable. What what a perform like that was unbelievable, wasn't it? Incredible. The chunter that the was chunter. Probably, wasn't the longest match we've ever seen, but what they fit in, what they got done in that space of time was absolutely superb. Yeah.
Incredible. Hello, Timmy. Yeah, story's an absolute machine. Legend. Johnson made a couple of mistakes there, not the least of which walking in the way of a horns attack <laughs> yeah. and getting the worst of it. And then Volk made the classic mistake of uh, focusing too much on one man, completely wiping him out, only to turn around and get taken out by his other rival. Yep. Incredible, incredible performance from Star. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I tell you what, I, I, I really tell you what I feel simmering, Jim. And that's Hancock versus Storr. They just both seem so unbeatable. They have such ridiculously good ring awareness. That's a good point. But um, Storr, uh, Storr Hancock is back in tag team action with Steve Moddy. And uh, they're up now against North and South. He, he is, Jim. We might never get to see it. And uh, certainly Hancock will be beside himself if he can have tag team su success with Steve Motti. We've seen the Scousers uh, hold the gold before. Can they do it now with this new iteration of Hancock and Steve Motti? You'd certainly fancy them against North and South, Jim, despite the unbelievably unlikely recent title run that they had. <laughs> yeah, and they also... They also won last week, didn't they? I, th I believe. I believe they won last week against uh, against the champs, the Dress for Business. The North and South beat North and South beat Dress for Business last week. There you go. I s spoke a sentence eventually, so that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, there we go. This is this is what I missed. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm sad I I wasn't there to watch that live. They, they really are on a roll, but will it get stopped dead by the Scousers? Hancock, another one that could be on to be the uh, the Grand Slam champion in the JFW. Yep. They are, Thor, yes. Yes, they are. No, uh, no Wem Dope tonight, Jim. Has that been stolen by Stanford? Um, it certainly... It, well... Mr. Jim McMahon doesn't want it defended on claws, so that the that so that a dirty Stan Firma can take it away. <laughs> wow! Basically. Right. Okay. So it's uh, it's been put on the back burner. Yeah. We're, we're on for the longest Wemdoke title reign of all time by default. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> what a team these two are. <laughs> they, they really are I, I could very very much see these two challenging for the titles and maybe even successfully Jim I, I think they're about to put the rest of the tag team division on standby on notice they are here to get it done and I'm very very worried for North and South yeah. hello night dude oh man The Martin Fugonomic was so successful for so long, but did eventually lose it and couldn't quite win the titles back. And uh, Hancock, of course, with the ridiculously incredible Flim Plum Plusweight title until it was robbed from him at Elimination Chamber. But here come North and South. You talk <laughs> about recent champions. <laughs> they are absolutely loving it, Jim. <laughs> I love this entrance, Tony. <laughs> You're the happiest guys in the JFW, and there sure is some competition for that. Yeah. If they formed a stable with just Joe, clowns would be out of business everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just, I just, I just read some idiocy on, on Discord. 
Not, not important, but uh, I just thought I'd explain the random laugh for no reason. <laughs> Oh, I just mind. thought you were loving North and South as as uh, much as them. Which Discord, Jim? <laughs> SFL. <laughs> SFL. <laughs> oh, dear, it's pretty funny. Hancock and Dimmy might be joining uh, SFL, which is pretty good. Oh, wow. Champ in the house. Might put an end to the uh, the gloating of Skurometso. Maybe. Could you imagine that? I couldn't imagine a world in which Skurabedso doesn't gloat about his SFL it's titles. It's going to be amazing, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many SFL coaches will be in JFW. A lot, I bet. Almost every single one. Mm. Hancock with a great start against Ansi here. Really nothing coming back at all. <laughs> <laughs> so is is this the uh, the Scousers' debut tonight in this? They they debuted last week and they beat Dansk Dansk Revolution. Oh wow! What a what a huge win! Oh, Steve Monty wisely getting out of the way. They have uh, they've wrestled together long enough. Ansi manages to make the tag. No, oh. slips around the back though. <laughs> and this could be the tag this time. It should be, well, surely. You would think. Early tag's always a good idea, and especially when he's taking the damage he has. Nice choke out of Hancock on the ropes, though. Surprised the ref didn't make more effort to stop that. Yeah. And now with the suplex. Wow, this is the anti we've come to know in recent weeks through the title reign. Yeah. Through the win last week. Whoa. Oh my word, what a roll through from Discussy! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh my word. This is wild. Hancock thankfully finding a way out of that. <laughs> oh what a kick! But he doesn't go down! Wow. Going for the tag now. Very good idea. Oh, this guy fights back. Elbows to the guts. Oh, man. Can he stop him? Oh, oh great duck from Hancock. <laughs> Still no tag. He had the opportunity right there. Yeah. Steve Monty could have just slapped him on the back. That there is. it is, Jim. Whoa. Oh. Four knees to the small of the back of De Scotty. He has got a bit of padding on his back, though. He's got the old sausage roll. Sausage roll. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trained to take exactly that move, Jim. <laughs> Love handles coming in handy. Oh, wow. Figure four. Figure of four. You never know. That can end anybody at any time. It's absolutely devastating. No oh, powering over. Yes. Steve Motti coming out of it. The worst off. And whipped to the corner. This could be anti. Back in the ring. Oh, Bulldog. No. <laughs> Crushes him. And throws him to the middle of the ring. Somehow, Steve Motti managing to uh, move that tree trunk of a leg of De Scotty. And take him down. Hmm. Wow, does it again. Steve Monty in a bad way, going for the tag, gets cut off. And oh. Scotty's feeling it, baby. <laughs> he's demanding, he's demanding a sausage and bean melt. <laughs> That's it, Antsy always holds a couple back for if they win. Oh! Oh, oh wow, nice. he's going for it, the package pile driver. Yeah, that's Hancock's really going to have to save Steve Monty here, I think. <laughs> it's really motivated him, this sausage and bean. <laughs> <laughs> he can oh. virtually smell it. <laughs> and go not coming in. It, oh it's God. over. Oh. oh. Can't believe Hancock didn't make the save. Credit yeah. to Steve Motti. Yeah, that could have been all over. 
And here comes Ansi. Brilliant tag it from north and south. And uh, this is not the one-sided affair that I thought the Scousers might enjoy. Mm. Will Hancock be able to do his uh, classic comeback? Oh, Spear! Spear from Steve Body on Ansi out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, is this enough? Now cranks the head, but what Steve Martin needs to do is get over and tag Hancock. Will Hancock have the same devastating ability in tag team wrestling that he has in singles competition? I mean, pretty much. He's been, he's been pretty, the Scousers have been incredible, haven't they? They've won the titles before. They've, and he, you know, Hancock has been involved sometimes, right? It hasn't always been, it hasn't always been just Stephen Fugger. There has been three months. Oh, the roll-up, Jim, the roll-up. Oh. Wow, Ansi nearly stole one. The oh. Scousers know something about that. You're absolutely right, Jim. They kind of played by NWO rules, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Jim. Ansi wants to put him away. <laughs> oh, my God. The dire death drop. <laughs> Surely this time Hancock tries to save. Yes. Yeah. Makes it. Scotty runs over. Catches him. Look oh, at this, God. Jim. Powerbomb on Hancock. Oh, oh my days. Running powerbomb. I thought he was going out of the ring then. Done and dusted. <laughs> Steve Marty all alone being beaten on by Ansi. Surely all he's got to do is make the pin. Somehow Steve Marty fighting back. How long is it going to be? How long is he going to have to survive before he even has a tag team partner? Well. Here's Surely he can't win this alone. Spike pile driver. Discotti, the only one there. Just oh. wipes out the ref. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hancock back. Steve Marty having a, a breather. Might as well whilst the ref's down. Nothing else to do. Mm. Wow. Discotti landing on the ref. Really took him out for a while there. I, I guess that isn't a surprise. Bringing Ansi over so he can make the tag. Yes, here comes Hancock. It's been a long time since we've seen him as the legal man. Oh, he's going straight in for the kick. Is he? No. He was just limbering up, Jim. <laughs> oh, counter jawbreaker by Ansi. Oh, wow. Textbook German suplex. He's loving it. Yeah. Rolls him up! Oh my god. He's got that locked in brilliantly! Wow, two and a half! Fancy yeah. baby! Got whipped into enemy territory. Here comes the Scotty! He's had a breather! He's still smelling those sausage rolls! <laughs> oh! Oh! Ooh. Hancock in a world of pain. The only thing saving him right now is right in front of Steve Motti. Manages to get the knee to Descotti and takes him down. Oh, but then he gets wiped out. He's at such a size disadvantage here, Jim. Yeah, this is just brutal. Any plimp on plues away is Hancock. And yeah, Descotti is a super heavyweight. <laughs> He really is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Boy, howdy. Wow. <laughs> Good night, Hancock. Scotty not going for the pin, though. I really thought he'd fancy that there. Yeah. Steve giving him stick there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. classic. Uh, glorious. Scotty, sadly, no, completely out of breath in. now. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> And I will Not had a defend. sausage roll in the last I five minutes. No, that is pretty terrible, isn't it? Blood sugar getting dangerously low. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you very much, honey bunny. Glorious. Thanks for staying. Oh, the sky bounces up, bounces <laughs> back up, and it's another power bomb. No, it's a oh. ball driver. Oh my god. Oh, Hancock. He thought he had him, Jim. He was dancing away merrily. <laughs> he was so, so wrong, and here comes the package pile driver after a spike pile driver. Goodness me. Oh, God, this could be it. Still have no neck left. Oh. Hancock He's does have a thick neck. He's completely gone. 
<laughs> completely gone. Steve Money got to make the save. And it's right in the corner with Ansi. Ansi yeah. to cut off Steve Money. Oh, oh, he, oh he did. Mahan got kicked out. Steve oh. Money's gone. To Scotty as Hancock at his complete mercy. No, Hancock reversal. Oh my God. Whips to Scotty into the corner, but there's nobody there to tag. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> flying maneuver from Hancock. Yeah. But it's, it's not all changed. in vain. Yep, it's oh not. Oh my <laughs> goodness me. It's not changed the momentum, has it? Oh my God. Just brutal moves from to Scotty here. Ahead of him. <laughs> At least let him die with the perm. <laughs> oh, working over Hancock. Surely doesn't need anything more. No <laughs> sign of Steve Motti whatsoever. I think he's taking in Ansi here. Yeah. I love it when they drag them and they just look completely dead. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> wow, even more dragging. And that's it. Oh, dirty oh the cheating, Jim. The cheating. Unbelievable. Wow, somehow, despite the leverage, ref didn't see it, but Hancock still kicking out. There is just no pinning this man. It really isn't. I do wonder if they need uh, Steve Motti back in the ring to have a chance of winning this. Well, they've got him. They do. And right now that isn't good because he's fresh, <laughs> but if they can wear him down again, I think that is their best chance. Ansi in trouble, though. <laughs> Yep. Oh! Jawbreaker from Ansi. Here we go. This is what he needs. Whips him. We might see this guy yet again. There's been loads of tagging from north and south. No big boot counters. Prevents the tag. Oh, ducks, Ansi ducks, the, ducks clothesline. the clothesline. Oh, oh shoulder up. breaker. Yeah, I that thought Anko might come in. It's been oh, just Disguise so much couldn't damage. couldn't get past the ref to stop him. Hancock punches to Scotty. Knee to the guts. <sighs> oh, I can't get him down, though. Wow. But Hancock not punished for his interference. DDT. Oh. DDT. <laughs> it's the not so <laughs> oh, super kick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no save from Hancock. Yes, here we go. He's slow though. Oh, just, just, just got under Discotti. He was right there. Discotti with the power bomb. Discotti no with the pearl oh. driver, the spike pearl oh, driver. Oh my god. Both the scousers are down. Ground and pound from Ansi. <laughs> this is as good as dress. Uh, as dress as good as North and South have looked for ages, isn't it? It Incredible. is, and that's got to be it. They've done it, Jim. They've done oh. it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two and nine tenths. <laughs> Oh my days! Unbelievable. How did Steve Motti kick out of that? Credit to him. I really thought that was it that time. Unbelievable. Steve Motti, Fisherman Suplex holds class. it. No, let's it Back go. In the He's exhausted. He's battered. He's bruised. He finds the pin. But there's only to Scotty. He's not coming! He's oh. not coming! Oh my goodness! Why was he so slow? <laughs> well, I. I... Somebody just walked in from the refreshment stand and he got distracted, Jim. Yeah, he was halfway through a Danish pastry. <laughs> oh, Spike DDT busts him open. He's oh, got to be quicker this time. And Hancock's there to cut him off. He makes it. Wow. Man. Oh, but Hancock's there. Whip to the apron. That's probably not enough from Hancock. <laughs> the dance from Steve Moy. <laughs> What's Steve Moy doing? I thought Steve Moy was going to go and uh, cheap shot to Scotty for a moment there, but he thought better of it. Yep. Ansi in a lot of trouble. Kicks Steve Motti away, but needs to find that tag. Bleeding profusely, Ansi. Yep, he's got it. He's got a tag in. Got a tag in to Scotty now. I mean, no, none of these men are in particularly good shape. None of these men are fresh. But I wouldn't want to be in the ring with Scotty right now. Mm -hmm. Brilliant recovery from Ansi. Steve Motti catches him. Can he do enough? Can he tag Hancock? The two fresh men. Yeah. He should definitely be trying to. Think he's going to? Oh, wow, back nice backbreaker from Steve Muddy. <laughs> Dancing, surely not the time. <laughs> hey, he's got to get his aerobics in. 
<laughs> up to nearly his uh, 2,000 steps a day. Yeah. Oh, my word. Steve Motti wanting to see this out, wanting to be the man to get it done. And to be fair, he is controlling to Scotty at the moment. This is better than I expected from him. Yeah. Has he waited too long? No, still absolutely in control. Clubbing to Scotty. Maybe to Scotty has, uh, has just been too long in this match. Maybe uh, the lack of conditioning catching up with him. Yeah, he was so dominant earlier, but this this later stretch. <laughs> yeah, this is an cool. incredible turnaround from Steve Marty. Credit to him. I was wrong. I thought he should tag Hancock, and he's absolutely destroyed to Scotty, and now the tag. This seems much better. Oh, boy. Hancock in the, uh, in the final stretch home. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Even used the ropes for, for leverage. Yeah. Driving those knees into the arm of Descotti. Descotti with the reversal whip. I wasn't mm. sure he had any. Oh! Hancock takes out the ramp. The oh Scouts are God. cheating, Jim. The Scouts oh are cheating God. again. Oh my God. The referee said that Hancock's roster was incorrect. <laughs> he just took it out straight on him. Wow. Descotti oh. wipes him out, but there's no ref to count the pin. He can't pin him. Oh he knows man. he can't pin him. So he picks him up and it gives time Hancock it gives Hancock time to reverse. And look at this face plants to Scotty. <laughs> Disgusting cheating from the Scousers. Oh wow, go for the ref again. <laughs> oh well, wow, the ref wise to it this time. Ducks out the way. <laughs> the Scouts are gonna struggle to have anyone officiate their matches in future weeks. <laughs> gonna have to have unsanctioned matches for the Scousers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, going for the figure four again. And this is definitely at a point that this could win it. Surely Ansi yeah. needs to save. I think we've got a tap. There's no Ansi. It's been too long. He's too battered. No, oh, he's my done days, the Scotty powers out. He's done it. Reverses the pressure. How on earth? Steve Motti suffering, but Scotty just too tired to put him in a grapple. So gets caught in a whip. It's sad to see. Here comes Hancock, the tagging now, the Scousers is absolutely on point. Oh no. Oh. Credit to Hancock, that is some strength and the spike, pile driver. Oh taking God. the last of the fight out of Descotti. Surely he's just got to get a cover on him now. It's not like North and South would be that much better off if he made the tag to Ansi, you wouldn't think. <laughs> Ansi's been put through the ringer as well. It's been a valiant effort from them, but it really looks like the Scouts is romping home now. Rated by Hancock. What a toxic swine. Oh, code breaker. And he's going for the tag. He rolls away. He rolls away. But Hancock too quick. <laughs> Batters him into the corner, whips him over to Steve Motti. Ref taken out again, this time by accident. Mm. Poor ref. The Scotty reverses. The Scotty reverses. But will the ref see the tag if he makes it? <laughs> oh, Hancock reverses. No. <laughs> over to Steve Motti. The ref wisely moving this time. <laughs> Here comes Steve Motti. Oh, to Scotty. <laughs> the back is completely shotty. Oh, lovely right. Blocked, though, the second time. Steve Buddy saw it coming. Oh, wow. What a spine buster. What strength by Steve Buddy, particularly at this point in the match. Oh, holding his back somewhat. Unbelievable. Sir. He says it's time. It's spike pile driver time, and it's the end of De Scotty. <laughs> Up and down. Right in the corner. Hancock there to cut off Ansi. Yeah, that's it. Good night. The Scousers are back and they're in business. Oh boy. Oh boy. The Scousers right back into the title picture maybe.
sad to see North and South good run come to an end, but the Scousers just in a different league, Jim. And yep, back to back wins. They've got to be uh, the number one contenders currently. <laughs> Unbelievable. Typical club match. Yep. All right. Well, my God, what a what a singles match this is. Physics, who just who beat Noalius last Monday, taking on Peppered Biscuit. Wow. Well, we we've, we've seen just how devastating a wrestler Noalius is tonight, demolishing Rick Reckless, the recent extra arms belt champion. So, yeah, for Physics to beat him is really, really making a statement. Yeah. And uh, Pepper Biscuit, of course, defeating Noalius and Rick in a triple threat the week before. So, yeah, this is, uh, is going to be very, very telling about who currently is standing on top of the mountain. Yep. <laughs> right, let's go. Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> Does he have enough names? Maybe. And if uh, an apple falls on top of your head, Jim, you know one thing. De Scotty is not eating his lunch above you. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Reminiscent oh. of the genius. Time's gone past. <laughs> yeah. Physics uh, truly, truly is a genius, both inside and outside the ring. Yeah. Just how much so it's going to take some sort of a, some sort of epiphany for Physics to find a way to beat this man. <sighs> Maybe the most dominant man in JFW history. The only surprise is somehow, someway, he has never tasted JFW gold. Well, it's gonna be amazing, he is guys. absolutely determined to put an end to that. And if it means he's got to go through physics, if it means we never see physics again, he is not going to lose any sleep. <laughs> yeah. Not even sure he does sleep, Jim. No. Damn you, Timmy. <laughs> What a terrifying opponent. Tibbum have got to be Timmy. right on the verge, I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't at all be surprised. When's the next pay-per-view, Jim? It's uh, it's really soon, like two weeks away. Oh, baby. 8th, 8th of uh, May. Unbelievable. Power advantage from Pepper Biscuit, but look at this technical ability from Physics. Saying that, Pepper Biscuit slips around the back and gets a headlock on. Very mm -hmm. nice. Physics uh, desperately walking him over to the ropes. Ducks underneath. Oh, what a lovely kick. Puts Pepper Biscuit down to one knee. That's no small feat. Mm, incredible. Only Satterfield has small feet in the JFW. <laughs> Kicks to the ribs of Pepper Biscuit. But he powers it around and clubbing blows to the head of physics. No mask on his face to protect him. Oh. Wow. Swinging DDT from the middle rope. That is some good use of physics right there. <laughs> yeah. Back and forth we go. This is... Uh, 
Seems absolutely impossible for any man to get on top. Isn't Physics it? now, maybe? Yeah, doing well. Up goes Pepper Biscuit. Yeah. That's important. Physics has the strength to get Pepper Biscuit up for the suplexes, but look at the recovery ability of Pepper Biscuit <laughs> DDT. But then the roll through from Physics. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these really are on form, Jim. You can see that right here immediately tonight. Oh my God. Neither man willing to give an inch. Clothesline into a pin. That's a bit optimistic. Barely gets a one count. Physics bounces up. Counters. Is annoyed that Pepper Biscuit got the first pin in. Uppercut, clothesline, gets him down in the corner. Stomping a hole. No, what? Pepper Biscuit grabs the foot, wow. fights back up. Wow. No man able to get any sort of control for more than a few seconds. Pepper Biscuit good. cranking the neck. Has he finally taken control of this match? Stomps physics. <laughs> Clubbing blows to the side of the head. Picks mm -hmm. him up. Yes, I think Pepper Biscuit. We're finally seeing one man on top of Jim Brainbuster. Whoa. Definitely now. Pepper Biscuit. Oof. Gets a two count. Yes, it's his to lose, Jim. Yeah, this is this is certainly swung in one direction. It took a while, it really did. Physics now, trying to fight back. Throws him over the top. That's a very ambitious pin. Just gets a one count, but if he can follow it up. He might get back on even terms right now. He isn't, and there comes Pepper Biscuit. This is bad news for physics. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, it could be over. I think that's it, Jim. If yeah, Pepper Biscuit chooses be. to finish it, and he does. I think this is it. No. Wow. Well, he did beat Noalius. It takes an <laughs> unbelievable amount of fortitude and fight to defeat Noalius on any given day. And that's now what we're seeing from Physics. But he's got to convert that into offense. He's got to wear down the absolute monster that is Peppered Biscuit. Yeah, that's a big, that's a tough ass. Stunner! <laughs> wow, look at that, amazing. Wow, double underhook suplex to the back of the head of Pepper Biscuit. Unbelievable. Physics going to the top rope. He's going to show us some physics, Jim. Get ready yep. to learn. Yep, the green apple. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? Could be it. If he, did, if he makes the cover, he's going again. He's going oh, again. Boy, here we go. Is this going to be the green apple? One is good. Two is better. It is. Boy. Oh, my goodness. It defies the laws of himself. <laughs> really does. What He's too tired to pin, Jim. Wow. Too tired to pin and decides to carry on. Surely he had it won there. Arm breaker from Pepper Biscuit desperately trying to fight back. Whips him into the corner. Physics ducks underneath. Close line of his own. And he's tired and Pepper Biscuit gets to his feet. Who's going to recover first? Oh Physics. Uppercut. Gets him down again. We're back on even terms. I can't believe it. Two huge top rope maneuvers. Getting this right back on terms for physics. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. Oh, look at this submission. Oh. I don't think we've oh, ever seen oh. Pepper Biscuit give up. But he oh. might lose an arm if he doesn't. Oh. The power of Pepper Biscuit never ceases to amaze. That looked completely locked in. <laughs> and yet the strength was just too much. DDT, DDT, physics is out. Pepper Biscuit staring an evil hole through <laughs> physics. He doesn't care. He doesn't see him as a living being. He doesn't see him as a human being. He himself, I'm not even sure, is a human being. Oh, physics with the recovery. Oh, physics too quick for Pepper Biscuit. He was stalking him. But the prey became the, the hunter became the prey. The hunter became the prey. Physics now. Going to try and put him away. No, the oh. power of Pepper Biscuit. Oh. How are these two so even? Physics with the clothesline. Gets him down once more. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
How does a man of his size do that? It defies the laws of physics. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Physics still in control. Incredible strength. Up and down. Does he cover him again? No, he wants more. No fight back from Pepe Biscuit, Jim. <laughs> oh, physics misses. Doesn't seem to matter. Snap suplex. Oh, my word. He almost broke the mask over off, Pepe it. Biscuit's face. Got him in an arm lock now. There is nothing coming back from Pepper Biscuit. I don't think I've ever seen this done to him. No, this is as dominant as anyone's ever been versus Pepper Biscuit, I think, yeah. Trying to trying to wrench the arm right out of the shoulder. It might be dislocated. Pepper Biscuit might be effectively one armed for the rest of this match. Oh, oh my goodness, he missed! He missed! <laughs> He's just handed it to Pepper Biscuit! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Physics got his maths wrong. The <laughs> equation wasn't right, Jim. Oh my he God. didn't carry the one. <laughs> well, Pepper Biscuit certainly did. And this is looking bad. Oh, oh my God. goodness, no! How? Pepper Biscuit can't believe it. He berates the ref. He stomps the floor in frustration. But he's still in control. No, Physics with the counter punches coming up. Oh, but look at the power. Pepper Biscuit decides to just run him over. He's had enough now, Jim. No oh more messing boy. around. No more wrestling. Just sheer brute force, like only Pepper Biscuit can do. <laughs> A physics with the kick out. Oh Throws man. him away. Pepper Biscuit just powers through him again, though. Physics pops up. We're back <laughs> to this, Jim. It's back and forth like you can't believe. Snap <laughs> suplex by Physics. Oh How are they both still doing this at this point? Makes the cover. Ooh, two comes Kick in. out from Pepper Biscuit, but only just, and that's from a snap suplex. <laughs> yeah. Both men absolutely destroyed, but you wouldn't believe it to see their offense still. <laughs> Elbow to the mask, still trying to break that mask. Here we go with no submission again, Jim. Yeah. Oh Surely God. this time, I think he's got it. No immediate power out from Pepper Biscuit. What on earth? Wow. Who recovers the quickest? Both devastated. Pepper Biscuit gets oh, him up. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That is absolutely it. Unbelievable effort from physics. But Pepper Biscuit marches on towards the title. He's done it. What a performance from both men. But what a win for Pepper Biscuit. Boy, howdy. Not Rob Blood. Nearly delayed. <laughs> yep. Boy, howdy. Huge, huge win for PB, and he is just, he's unbelievable, isn't it? His record's unreal. How he hasn't won a title, God only knows. I, I really think we're at the end of that road, Jim. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be the guy holding the title that he's now gunning for. Yep. Oh dear, well now we've got the tag team champs in, in action that will be now exclusively on Monday Night Claw defending against the former champs who didn't lose it in a fair match, did they? They lost it in the, uh, in the well, in the match that they won, the uh, triple threat. Or will. It was the table ladders and chairs match, Jim, and not only that, they didn't win it in the tables, ladders and chairs, they defended it. Yeah. They defended it the week before in a tables, ladders and chairs match, and then it was just randomly booked as a rematch the week afterwards by Jim McMahon, one of the shoddiest, most underhanded booking decisions we've seen. And so, Dress for Business winning in the most lackluster style, um, having not earned their title shot whatsoever, but here they are, they did win the match, you can't take that away from them, and they are the champions. But, yeah. uh, but CBT here to prove a very, very big point tonight that they were robbed and are the rightful champions of the JFW. And this is the kind of thing that you will not see on a Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. Because Friday night don't get any tag teams, thanks to FanFox the lawyer. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Well, there you go. All right, let's let's go to ringside while I uh, get a snack, and that's not a full plate of fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, Jim, I, I have been a little bit harsh for dre on Dress to Business there. If they win tonight, maybe they have then proved the point that they are the rightful champions. So it's kind of all on the line without being on the line. Yeah. But I, 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 my subconscious is well and truly over it now, Jim. Honestly, any match with CBT in it, I genuinely see them as the favorites now. I wouldn't want to be dressed for business facing a tag team of this caliber, and I wouldn't want to be dressed for business facing a tag team of this strategy. I, I love the tag team CVT corner. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, Rick Shavani, of no affiliation to any other Twitch streamers, <laughs> loves a bit of CVT. Well, deserved or not, here come the tag team champions. Many this week have called them phonies. Many have called them frauds. But if they win tonight, there can be no argument. Quick start from Cocky. Lemon, though, ducks underneath. Nice kicks to the leg. Oh, and a clubbing forearm to the face of Cocky. Stomping him and working over the arm. Great start from Lemon. In control now. I guess because they're champions. Dress of business uh, in the corner nearest us on the right. <laughs> it looks really weird to me. I don't think I've ever seen them in this corner. Oh, Cocky's turned it around. Great little uh, headlock on the floor on Lemon. Slips out, though. Oh, my word. Beautiful. Roll through into DDT from Lemon. And even he's confused. Goes over towards Moradam. Only to realize that isn't his corner. Cocky in and out the ring. Catches Lemon out. Oh, stomps him down. Over the tag, I think, a little bit confused. Not used to this being his corner either. And here comes Moradam. Just about gets the tag as Lemon takes a swing. And Moradam takes him down with the spinning heel kick. Lemon, though, fighting back. Kick to the gut of Moradam. Oh! Drops him with the double foot stomp. Unbelievable how he gets the elevation to do that. Drags him to the middle of the ring. And great... Athleticism from Lemon. Working over the knee now, softening him up for a submission later, but he could probably do with the tag at this point, Lemon. CBT very good at always getting in the quick tags. There's the arm drag from Moradam. Lemon in trouble again. Suplex. Beautiful from Moradam. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back, Jim. <laughs> okay, Missed some good yips, maybe. What, uh... What, what snack did we go for, sorry? Just uh, jam on bread. Oh, nice. What, what, what flavour jam? Strawberry. Always strawberry. See, I, I do really like strawberry, but I think at a push, I'm a raspberry man. It's going to be amazing, guys. <laughs> I yeah. guess it's a little bit like, do you take tensile claw on your monitor? No, 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 because there's only one answer there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this from Cocky? Kick to the gut and... Oh, oh, no! Lemon! The little pips! Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh god. wow! He's gonna break his leg in two! Oh my god! Lemon, desperately flailing, and the the ref <laughs> counting to the point that Cocky has to let it go in the end. Two. 
Wow. What a drop kick from Cocky. Doesn't look like the athlete that he is, but uh, he's got some right maneuvers in him. Is this yep. into the... Oh, oh my, my word! God. Launches him into the ring. I can't believe you had the strength to do that, dude. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, he's being tangled. He's being tangled by the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ears boxed as he tried to belly to belly. Lemon wasn't having any of it. Lemon's been through the rigor, though. This is a very wise tag from Lemon. Brilliant tag team wrestling. Fan Fox completely fresh. Oh, oh Fan Fox, dear. what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? He didn't realize he'd missed. <laughs> this is the third tag already from CBT, Jim. They're just such an efficient team. They really are incredible. Good wrenching of the head from Moradan. Trying to wear down the fresh man. They've already done an absolute number on Lemon. But uh, they've got work to do here. Oh, they're going to launch him. Hey. Oh boy, Moradan hanging Fan Fox out to dry. Quote your case law on that fan fuck. <laughs> yeah, what a Lodging promo from the fan fuck. Nothing coming back from fan fox. Here we go. Surely now. No. He's been too busy lawyering, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Not, not doing half enough training for this match. Getting absolutely taken to town. Okay, finally rolls through. Whips Moradam. This is more like it. This is what we needed. Drop kick to the face. Okay. And Fox back in business. <laughs> Slap Beautiful him. slap. I wonder, if, I wonder if he learned that from Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And then just launches him out of the ring onto the concrete. Not uh, something Moradam is, is used to. But uh, now it's, now it's Moradam that needs to find something. Fighting back there. Yes, breaks the grapple. Only to get caught by a forearm, though. And now... Fed onto the apron, and oh boy, is that hard. <laughs> it's the hardest part of the ring. It certainly is. And Fox bringing it back to the inside. Oh, the spine buster! The spine buster is in the Fox's elbow! No, yes! it is! <laughs> Fox's elbow! Moradam in a world of pain! Oh! oh. Surely Cocky has to break this up. Lemon right there. This might be over. No. Wow. Cocky got there, funny. but he's going to pay a price. Oh, the double team. Double team. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, but then Moradam takes out Fat Fox. Wow. Both men down. Both legal men down, and Moradam's not stopping. Oh. Big counter from Fat Fox. Oh, Moradam is the legal man. Sorry. Of course. <laughs> Gosh, I, got, I, I lost all track of what was going on there, Jim. Blow <laughs> down. Boots Fat Fox out the corner. You think you had lost track of what was happening, Rick? I couldn't even say yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down. Absolutely loving it. Wiping out Fat Fox with the flying forearm. Oh, my mm. goodness. What a kick. Fat Fox desperately trying to make the tag. Rolls away from the stomp, though. Gets Moradam on the shoulders. Moradam counters, DDT, Fat Fox down. Oh. oh no, oh no. Oh. He does not need an expansion to the foxhole. <laughs> Ouch. God, that looks so horrible sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it really does. It really does. Launches Fan Fox across the ring. He is no longer the fresh man. He is, in fact, in desperate need of a tag to Lemon. And Moradam's uh -oh. going to try and put him away. Oh! oh! That'll put any of us away, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Can Cocky cut off Lemon? No. Wow. Lemon breaks it up. So fast. Cocky DDTs Lemon. <laughs> Lemon gone. Fan Fox absolutely destroyed. CVT. The rightful tag team champions of the wow. JFW. No, Fan Fox slips out the back. Whoa. Spike DDT. What the hell? Spike DDT. 
Bardem desperately trying to tag, gets caught by a boot. Close line from Fat Fox over and over again. There's no lemon, but he doesn't need him. Spinebuster. Doesn't go for the Fox's elbow this time. Maradam fights back. Uppercut. That Fox rolls through. Drop toe hold. Oh. Fox, Fox bottom. bottom. Fox, Fox bottom, bottom out of nowhere. Fox bottom out of nowhere, but there's only Cookie. There's only, there's Lemon. There's Lemon. Oh. oh, Lemon didn't dive in. Lemon dragged himself up. He didn't have it in him. If he'd managed to dive in, he could have stopped Cocky. And Fan Fox had almost single-handedly won it. Yeah. Unbelievable. As it is, yeah. Cocky made the breakup and no comeuppance for him. And Moradam oh. now Slimmer. wipes out Fan Fox. Fan Fox makes oh. the tag. The desperation <laughs> tag is there. Lemon chops Moradam. Oh, boy. Boot to the back. Pins him. <laughs> Imagine if wow. that had been the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The whole boot to the back finish. <laughs> got a two and a half. Yeah, my, Maradam's been through a lot. He's, he's been in there a long time. He could definitely do with the tag himself now. Yeah. What a maneuver. Fantastic athleticism as always from Lemon. Working on the hamstrings. Oh my word. No, lemon, lemon drop! drop. Go, 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 <laughs> Get him. Jawbreaker though from Maradam. Desperation time. Needs to get cocky in. Takes Lemon down. Beautifully done. Is going for the tag. No. Changes mm, his mind. He's got a tag. Bad mistake. Cranks the head of Lemon. What a big head. It's, it's pretty darn big. Oh my oh, word! And now he's going for the pips! A <laughs> little pips! Oh! oh! <laughs> Fat Fox has recovered just in time, Jim! <laughs> he is needed! Cookie's got him! Oh. Cookie's got Fat Fox! Lemon kicks oh. out! Oh my god! Fat Fox is wiped out again! Oh, well, Fat Fox has just done at this point, isn't he? He, he is completely gone, but look at this! Lemon counters! He's not gonna take it lying down! Well, if he does get pinned, that's exactly what happens. But he's going to try his best first. Yeah. <laughs> Drop oh. kick to the side of the head from Maradam. Oh, boy. Counter again from Lemon. <laughs> Heroic effort. DDT. Short DDT. Oh, and here we oh. go. Trouble in paradise. Oh. oh. There's, it. there's no Maradam fun Fox the though. There's only Cocky there. Easiest breakup of his life. Oh. Fun Fox dives in, but too late again. Just too late. Ref takes a small bump, but he's okay. Fun. Cocky punished. Cocky punished. <laughs> it's Lemon and Maradam. And Maradam now, for the first time this match, the one stranded. <laughs> Lemon loves taunting, doesn't he? He really does. I, uh, I wouldn't want to say that's cost him many a match, but... Uh, <laughs> it's cost him many a match. Yeah. It has cost him many a match, yeah. <laughs> Just because I wouldn't want to say it. <laughs> mean I won't. Oh, feeds Maradam to the ring post. Maradam in so much trouble here. Oh, Fights back, but misses. Oh, misses. And now Lemon's going to be able to make the tag. There it is. Fat Fox in. Still no cocky. There's cocky. Oh. Oh. Spear! Oh. Splash! Belly to belly! Wow. Don't let him tag Fanfar. Couldn't even make the desperation tag. He was right there and he rolled over and he couldn't make the tag. <laughs> he was that destroyed. Yeah. He was that destroyed. Walked over to Dress for Business's corner again. Cocky's going to have to be the one that does this now. If CBT are to find the win, and I don't think they will. This is absolutely amazing from Dress for Business. Another quick tag. The only problem with that is Lemon has not been out of the ring long. Yeah. But there's Lemon a Lemon drop. drop. <laughs> I mean, that definitely puts Maradam away if Cocky doesn't break it up. Yeah. Not, he's not pinning him, Jim. Mm. 
He's setting up for this though, to the, for the toss into the corner. Oh, Lemon looking uh, smug and suave into the crowd. I think he's going to tag Fanfox back in. Yes, yeah. look at these quick tags from Dress for Business. This is pretty incredible, isn't it? It's brilliant tag teaming, and it's absolutely oh. going to get done. Wow. <laughs> Missile dropkick launching the face of Mardam. Somehow rolls through, but gets caught anyway. He's just too destroyed versus the relatively fresh now. Certainly found their second win. Dress for business. Oh, Fat Fox <laughs> calls for it. And again. <laughs> and, and again. again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and again. Oh my goodness, Jim. The showmanship. <laughs> the overconfidence. Oh, oh it is overconfidence. Oh, wow. He gave him too long. No He's caught in a leg lock. He could tap. He could tap. No way. Imagine this. Oh. oh, boots him away. Boots him away. No oh. for another tag. Gets caught this time, but elbows to counter. Clubbing blow to the back of Mardam. Mardam in such trouble. Oh, no. the sharpshooter. Oh, no, this the is it. This is it. Cocky. You've got to. No, he counties. Unreal. Wow. Unreal from Mardam. How on oh, earth that did that softening he do? up of the leg from Lemon and it counts for Nord. Oh, What's that box outside? Suicide. Suicide, Suicide oh. dive. Wow. Suicide dive. Wow. That box wiped out on the 23 feet of concrete. <laughs> Somehow counters with a clothesline. I don't think either of these men are in shape to be taking these maneuvers out here anymore. No. Oh, my God. I mean, Moradam's just completely dead. He's been in the ring for 10, 15 minutes now by himself, <laughs> taking every maneuver imaginable, and now he's being destroyed on concrete. This is absolutely obscene. <laughs> yep. You factor in, he's stunty as well. Oh. He does have thick skull, Lori. We know how much you like that. <laughs> Oh, well, well, that does help. <laughs> but back first into the ring post. Oh, my. Oh, oh my goodness. On the ring post and again. Oh and again. Oh, my God. And Fox. Eight. You devil. We're up to eight. Oh, he puts him back in. And he's still. Oh. Wow, Fat Fox just uh, <laughs> casually getting back in the ring at nine. But he, he waited too long. Yeah. He gave Mardam a chance to tag. Yeah. Cocky with the clotheslines, finally gets him down. Wow. Oh, Fat Fox, what have you done? Wow. Counters out the corner, whips Cocky towards Lemon, makes the tag, makes the tag. Cocky in trouble, Moradam completely <laughs> unconscious out there on the outside, probably for the next 20 minutes. Oh, but Lemon doesn't follow it up quick enough. Cocky recovers in a backbreaker. <laughs> oh, Cocky baby. Attack back! Attack back! That's the quickest tag I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these clubbing bows from Fat Fox. He is feeling it tonight. Wow. What an uppercut. He loves what he's done to stand firm, Jim, and he's got a point to prove. <laughs> There's only one place to be for the greatest wrestling in the world, and that is Monday Night Claw with all its tag team glory. Two and a half from Cocky. Lemon still not recovered. Moradam somehow back. Incredible. Uppercut from Cocky. Ooh, Up and over. Lemon still Nothing not coming back in now from any Fat Fox. Still no Lemon. Fat Fox whipped into the corner. Cocky misses. Oh. And again. Third time lucky. Hey. Gets it anyway. Feeds him into the ring post. Oh. Oh, Sheila's running around in circles. I think that could be it for dress of business. Stomping a mud hole with the sandals, Jim. Devastating oh. sandals to the gut. Really Somehow, Fat Fox fighting out, but no. Fireman carry down. And Lemon's back. <laughs> and Fat Fox slips over the back. <gasps> Oh, Fox, Fox bottom! Fox, Fox bottom, bottom out of nowhere! Fox bottom out of nowhere, right next to Lemon, who's just oh, recovered. Yeah. Surely now, to oh, be the rightful yeah. champions. The question mark's oh. gone, Lemon got confused. 
Oh, and got the confused. The two and three quarters part up saved him, but another puck. The crumb wall. Another puck part up. But there's no lemon now. <laughs> and Maradam's right there. Surely oh not. God. Maradam, what are you doing? Coming no, in. Maradam, no. He can't it's come in. Him. Oh my God. And Fox by himself. He was a one-man mission tonight. Holy moly. There is no doubting it anymore. Dress for business. Ah, oh, the tag team champions of the JFW, rightfully. Unbelievable. Wow. CBT can't really have any arguments now, can they? No, they can't. That's a real shame. I think Moradam uh, dropped the ball there at the end, but he had been absolutely destroyed. I, I don't even blame him. But I tell you what, Dresser Business need to immediately turn their sights to the Scousers. Yep. <laughs> Incredible. What they don't need to turn their sights to is Friday Night Stand Firm. <laughs> they do, yes, uh, Skuru. It's almost as if somebody thought they had no chance of winning and then kept forgetting to change it. <laughs> 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 Al almost like that. <laughs> anyway. anyway, now it's time for the main event. We've got Crusher versus Goliath. Live games, unbelievably, finally defeating Rick. Finally got given a fair shot at WrestleMania. Took it with both hands. Is our extra arms belt champion? But we've seen an unbelievable win from Crusher against. Uh, against EAB yeah. and Goliath Games losing recently to Store, the Plim Plom Pluserweight champion. We know there's a little bit of Halfling magic in Store, but even so, so, you know, this isn't as straightforward a uh, favorite is the champion as you'd think, is it, Jim? This is pretty even on paper. It is pretty even, but I mean, to be fair, this, in the Store match, Goliath just beat him like from pillar to post, didn't he? And then he just got caught <laughs> by a lucky, a lucky shot at the end. Uh, it, it was it was about as one sided as we've ever seen. And then he followed I... that up with just demolishing Muppet Pac-Man in record time the following week. Yeah, I, I I think you might be right, Jim. I think you might be right. And that. Uh, and it's one thing to, to struggle against the little guys who are flying everywhere and wearing you out, but he does unbelievably against the big guys. I, I wouldn't want to be Crusher, you're quite right. Uh, Crusher definitely up against it in this one. Yeah. And this is one of the few, one of the few creatures bigger than Goliath in the JFW. Goliath is the biggest man in the JFW, but um, Crusher and EAB are bigger than him, and this yeah. is... He is, Jim, but I wouldn't want to absolutely bank on him being more powerful. I'm interested to see, in the early stretches of this match, who is more physically dominant. And yeah. I would bank right now on it being Goliath Games. Yeah, maybe. Goliath does have sex appeal. To be fair, so does, Ch so does Crusher. <laughs> uh, you know, if, you, if you're the kind of person a bit like Try, then... Uh... There's certainly, there's certainly a market for it. <laughs> the most sensual entrance in the JFW. <laughs> I don't know why you would mention horses, absolute pinnacle. <laughs> Crusher is clearly a minotaur. Does he have uh, claw or tentacles, Jim? Claw. He had both, actually, Crusher. He was oh, a Chaos nice. Minnow, though. Chaos Minnow, so... Easy ah, ball. easily obtained. None of this hard work that the, uh, the Chorf Miner has to go through. Exactly. It's gonna be amazing, guys! <laughs> yep. It's gonna be amazing, guys! <laughs> 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 oh dear, that, that sound effect has had some good use out of it, hasn't it, already? Holy moly. Wow, oh, Steve Motti, serial winner, winner tonight. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Scousers on a collision course with Dressed for Business. <laughs> and talk about a collision course. The earth is about to rumble when these two collide. I hope the ring can withstand it. Fuck off, yeah. Dimmy. 
<laughs> yeah. Like what we've seen in recent years with boxing, if you want to be a heavyweight champion, it's no good just being a heavyweight. You've got to be a super heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Tyson Fury, six foot nine, but six foot nine is actually not as tall as Goliath. Goliath is six foot eleven. So there you go. Unbelievable. Can he tame the Minotaur? All right, let's go. Crusher with the speed advantage, and he does have the strength to get him up oh. and hang him up there with a stall suplex. Amazing. Amazing start. Goliath Games oh. rolls through. Huge boot. Doesn't get him down. Oh, and again. And again, doesn't get him down. I was wrong, Jim. I was wrong. Crusher with the power advantage. Goliath game oh, no. being ragdolled around the ring like he's never experienced before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is our extra arms belt champion. Oh my god. Please nerf Crusher. Can you imagine the power in the ring if it was Crusher and Pepper Biscuit and Goliath Games. Holy moly. Four. Stomps on the arm of Goliath Games. Nothing from Goliath Games yet. Oh my god. A flag bearer. Of the JFW being demolished. Finally! Shoulder tackle takedown. Can he keep it going though? Knee to the back. Chokes him out. Desperation, but uh, but much needed. Oh, Crusher rolling to the outside. Goliath Games joining him. Misses! Goliath Games misses. Fed back inside by Crusher. <laughs> Life Games spins around the back, clubbing blow to the back of the head. Snapmare takedown for a Goliath Games. Beautiful. Oh, choking him out. Crusher struggling to get out of this one. Stunner. Elbow to the head. A Goliath Games. Left hook. Wow. Feeds Goliath into the turnbuckle. Suddenly, it's all Crusher again. Oh, my days. <laughs> Hangs him upside down like it's nothing. Oh, man. Hoof to the head. Hoof to the head. Who would have thought they'd see it? Gets just the one count, but he's on the right track. Is Crusher. Can, can somebody never ban been, Jack uh, Bull, please? Never been ridiculously dominant in the JFW, but man, if, if he beats back to back EAB and Goliath games, that would statements be unreal, don't come any bigger than that. <laughs> Headlock now by Crusher. <laughs> Goliath games might be going out here, Jim. It might be. My God. Ref might have to stop this one. Okay, somehow Goliath Games powering up. <laughs> Elbows to the gut of Crusher, but he needs to follow this up. Oh, and he doesn't. He just gets bulldozed. Oh. oh. Two ton of Minotaur treading all over Goliath Games. No oh boy. Oh wow, the oh, counter from Goliath! Show the swiftness! Slam. And DDT's him! Right on the nose! <laughs> Can't hit him anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out at one from Crusher, but this is better from Goliath Games. Yep. Picks him up. Whips him into the corner. Beautiful, huge clothesline from Goliath Games. Oh, but Crusher manages to get a kick to the gut and then a left hook and another kick and another left hook and a slap with the right. Oh, no counters from Goliath Games. Just bludgeoning blow after blow from Crusher, living up to his name. Oh, this is devastating. Dodges the kick. There we go. Uppercut of his own for Goliath Games. Straight right. We've got ourselves a boxing match here, Jim. This is no longer wrestling. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Two absolute giants in this pure slugfest.
Blythe Games drags Crusher to his feet. Kick to the gut. Oh, oh DDT counted. DDT counted. Launches him over his head. Blythe Games has never experienced anything like this. Oh. Kicks out at two. But he's in a world of pain. He really is. Not even getting up, Jim. Could literally <laughs> only get the shoulder up, and that was it. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Choke slam from Crusher, it's over. Uh oh. What's he doing? Oh, counted. Goliath Games fights up. Oh, but they just bulldozed again. This is ridiculous, isn't it? Seeing Goliath just ragdolled around. Goliath Games desperately dragging himself to the corner to try and get away from the offense of Crusher. It works for just a second. Crusher calls for the choke slam. <laughs> Oh no, Jim. Here we go. Our extra arms belt champion has just been destroyed. <laughs> oh. Powerbomb from Crusher, and that's it. It's over. Oh, oh my goodness. That is why he is the champion. Why is the JFW flag bearer? But he's still in so much trouble. Rising knee from the life games. It's the last roll of the dice. Oh, the ref! The ref screws him. Oh, oh come on, ref! <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Of the thrust. He's feeling it now, Jim. <laughs> He's found his second win. Kick to Crusher. Oh, He's got a choke slam. Oh boy! He's got it locked in. No he gets him on. Wow! The ring reverberates like never before. Oh. Two! Kicks so out at two! Close. What does Goliath Games have to do? Oh my god. Slams the knee. Maybe thinking about a submission chokes him. Just sheer desperation. Prepared to go to any length. Crusher powers through him again, launches him into the air. This is wild. Yeah, Matthew, pretty pretty sure. Pretty sure all Minotaurs everywhere. Not too happy with Jim right now. <laughs> Suits him down. They weren't getting him down wow. earlier, Jim. What's the ref doing? Come on, ref. That was a the really ref's slow. Been off by a minotaur. How does that even work? <laughs> oh, the life games. Whoa, baby. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, but he eats a right hand. He took to look spear. Spear. It's all over. <sighs> That's definitely it this time. It is. Oh my god. Crusher beat the Extra Arms Belt champion, Goliath. He beat Extra Arms Bot, and then he beat the Extra Arms Belt champion. Wow. Wow. Crusher on an absolute tear. What have we seen tonight? I don't believe it. Get out of town, Jack Bull. <laughs> Rusted Minnow is vindicated. Yep, Elliot's wrong. <laughs> Minnow's great. <laughs> this is like a Minotaur versus a gigantic Elliot, anyway, isn't it? This <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone upscaled Elliot to be able to fight a, min a Minotaur, and this is what happened. <laughs> Jim, what, what a terrible start to the title reign of Goliath game. Losing two weeks ago to Store, and now you could you could write that off as a one-off fluke. But just being demolished by Crusher tonight, serious, serious question marks over his title reign now. Yeah, that was that was a shocker, wasn't it? I mean I mean, you know, Crusher's massive and everything, but you fancied Goliath to uh to pull that one through, didn't you? Very surprising. He was pretty much dominated as well, that is. That is, as you say, a serious question marks for Goliath. But, um, 
Stop it, Jack Bull. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rick. That was fantastic. Cheers. Thank you, Jim. Amazing card. Absolute joy. <laughs> Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>